So welcome back, viewers. Today I thought we would look at Luke Battle Poncho. I've got both a carded and a loose example here, both graded. Take a look at the loose example first. This figure was released in 1985. Released in Wave M, according to Echo Base Vintage Star Wars Guide, it's Wave M, kind of at the tail end of the Star Wars phenomenon, representing Kenner's kind of last-ditch effort to promote the toy line and try to rekindle everybody's interest in Star Wars. Of course, they released the last 17 figures, and then they re-released some of the earlier figures on the Power of the Force cards. Yeah, it's really not, really doesn't make sense why he came with the Palace Blaster, because at this point in Luke's career, he really didn't rely on a blaster. He was mostly... Uh, relying on his lightsaber. 1985, Kinder Star Wars loose action figure, Luke Battle Poncho, graded as an 85. I acquired this recently off of eBay, paying a fair amount for it, but I don't think I overpaid for it. I hope I didn't. We'll take a look at the carded example here. Luke holding, in that picture, he may be holding his helmet or he may be holding Princess Leia's helmet after discovering that she's missing. This is graded as 80 plus, figure graded as a 90. Bubble is slightly yellowed on this example. Still a nice looking figure, nice looking example. Of course, everyone was sort of disappointed when his helmet didn't wasn't removable. Had his helmet been removable, this figure would have made a nice uh, lightsaber duel figure because he he comes with um, with uh, Luke Skywalker's costume as it was without the outer vest and just the black tunic. It would have been pretty movie accurate to the lightsaber duel. But alas, they put that helmet, molded that helmet right on his head. 92 card back. The other major uh, disappointment with the figure when you were a kid was he didn't come with a lightsaber. He really should have had a green lightsaber with him. I remember as a kid being hopeful that when my mom told me she got a new Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker for me, I was very hopeful that it would come with a another lightsaber. I was slightly disappointed slightly crestfallen when he did not come with one and just that palace blaster as a kid i eventually resorted to transforming the luke battle poncho into um, the luke jedi figure swapping heads with a luke jedi figure and having lightsaber duels with him I guess I was pretty obsessed with movie accuracy to have done something like that. This is a pretty cool figure, pretty nice example. Happy to have it in my collection. A loose example is a recent acquisition. What are your thoughts on 
the Luke Battle Poncho figure. Do you think this figure was even necessary for your Return of the Jedi play? What are your memories of having this figure? Please leave a comment. If you like this video, check out my other Vintage Star Wars videos. And like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.